Thanks for watching our episode of Steins Gate, everyone. It's time to end the episode. Now, Billy. Huh? You could say that we're sort of doing the meta joke of taking the plot of the game and working it into the introduction. I mean, isn't that truly the origin of Stab, for instance? Yeah, yeah. Alternately, you're just messing with me to be a jerk. Damon, if I wanted to be a jerk, there are multiple ways I could do so. This is just the funniest. Eyes narrow. Hey. We're the bittersweet gamers. I'm we square. I'm the opinionator. We're not going to mess around this time. We've finally gotten to stopping messing around in the future lab. See, and uh, th things are happening, perhaps. Yes, it's, uh, hopefully it's picked up now. Let's go. So, as you can see, Lean Taro has noticed that nothing happened the way it's supposed to only for him. Well, I think he hasn't noticed that it's only him. Not yet, no. It's the same thing that happened right after I saw the mass disappearance. Mayuri's story didn't match mine. I need to know. For I... science! Am I caught in some sinister plot? I, I know I act like this, but something really is happening. Am I caught in some sinister plot? Is this another organization conspiracy? Maybe, maybe the way I think is actually pretty screwed up if this is the first thing or the second thing I think of. <laughs> Excuse me, person who accosted me. Of course, he has to say, Kyoma! <laughs> really, man? Are, are you for real? Daru disapproves diligently. Eyes narrow. <laughs> and he has the perfect face for it because look at that effect. The first thing, the first thing that he that that he does, Okarin, I mean, is resort to all of the lines that are built in. It was the organization. Waganawa ho in Kyoma. I don't know whether to admire his dedication or feel pity for him. Yes. Really? She's going to call him Hoin san? Well, she doesn't know that it's a fake name. Yeah, normally you would not expect that the person who introduces themselves is not giving you their real name. Uh, okay, guys. Japanese employs a system of name suffixes that define the speaker's relationship to the addressee. The common honorifics are as follows. Son. The most common honorific, used with strangers, people of equal status, and in general whenever one needs to be polite. When used after the given name, Kyoma san. It indicates a closer relationship. Kun. An informal name suffix generally used for male friends or male subordinates. Also used by males towards female subordinates in professional environments. As I understand, its use is actually going down these days, and aside from the second usage, tends to mainly show up in fiction. I could be I could be wrong, but I've heard that in one or two places. Huh. I wouldn't know. Chan. A diminutive suffix that indicates high affection, usually used for small children, young girls, or between close female friends. Tan. An even more diminutive version of the Chan suffix. Because it's baby talk. Most often used for fictional characters, especially anthropomorphizations for added cuteness. <sighs> she. A literary honorific generally used by formal publications such as newspapers. Some otaku, such as Daru, use she regularly. Oh, I That's why it's weird. I never knew that, but that explains why why he's using Mayushi and Mayushi, and that's interesting. And now we know. Looks like she finally understands I'm not lying, or at least has heard enough weird stuff to let me have gotten away with what I did <laughs> and be able to move on. Fortunately, I wasn't lying. Do I count this a victory or an embarrassment? Yes. But I still don't understand why my memories don't match everyone else's. Interesting thing to fixate on. I doubt that I can give her a good explanation, but I still saw what I saw! 
マキセさんそろそろ時間ですし始めましょうえあはい。I guess she's here to give some sort of a talk. Kurisu glances at me one more time, then sighs and heads toward the small conference room. Okarin, to the end, Bokura mo ikoze. Ikuto a do you imi da? And he's forgotten everything. Well, this is kind of a big shock to him, you know? Yes! Uh, uh, I saw you dead? Why is reality not conforming to my memory? I'm not really infected with chuni sickness, am I? Kogi o kiki ni kitan da ro? Daru disapproves diligently. Eyes narrow. <laughs> Daru rejects his friend for he is stupid. <laughs> I love Daru. Ah, oh, that. We're here for grades. Did she come to attend the lecture too? Strange. Why would the girl genius, Makise Kurisu, need to attend a lecture like this? Maybe she's interested in it. You don't know. Just because she's a genius doesn't mean she has complete frickin' knowledge. She's here to give a talk. Or that. 302. Okay, so my guess was a bit off. The girl genius didn't come to attend the lecture. Much as Damon said. えっと、今日は私のような弱敗者の話を聞きに来てくださってありがとう。講義をする方だったのか。Japan's famous girl genius, Makise Kurisu, who had her thesis published at the tender age of 17. That's amazing. This happens in fiction plenty of times, and I have no problem with it. It's also common enough to be a trope. Mm-hmm. But the one thing that's always bothered me about stuff like this is less her getting her thesis published at 17 and more that she also has gotten enough public speaking skill to be able to give a lecture at 17 while also getting her thesis published. <laughs> like, what part of her life has she given up? Because you don't get to achieve both of those by 17 without sacrificing some stuff. I know, I know, it's not romantic to bring that up, but it is what it is. According to Daru, she turned 18 a few days ago. Because of course he would know. I first heard about her when Daru pointed her out in a Gossip Magazine article. Okay, so what you're telling me is that this is even her first lecture, and she's already going to be good at public speaking? Look, I'm actually pretty good at public speaking, but I practiced it, dang it! Many years! Is it clapping or raining? God, you don't have to be a jerk! The audience is pretty mixed. It's mostly students like us here for the extra credit or the straight-up grade, but there are also a couple of professors. And Kurisu just gave me a sharp look, like, oh god, don't tell me you're here too. <laughs> what did I do besides... Daru disapproves diligently. <laughs> what, what did I do other than grab her silky, cuticalicious hair, poke her soft, warm, living cheek? I didn't do anything weird, come on! When I stare back at her, she quickly looks away. Anybody who understands tropes goes, yes! But I'm a mad scientist, Chuni, so only Daru would know those things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if she's a genius or whatever. I still don't like her, because of course I don't! She may have these people fooled with her timid girl act, but I learned at RoddyCon how cunning and aggressive she really is. With her politeness and such. Even if her murder was some kind of hallucination, my judgment of her character is still correct. I have a clear-eyed and honest view of reality. 
今回タイムマシーンをテーマに話してほしいと言われまして正直専門外なのですが頑張って話してみようと思いますオーケーヘイほうタイムマシンか最初に結論を言ってしまうとタイムマシンなんていうのはバカらしい代物だということです Well, this is completely different from the last one he was at. Let me begin by saying this subject is stupid. Easy, Ari! Easy, Ari! Easy, Ari! And Darwin's like, please don't associate me with him. Please don't associate me with him. All they need to do is mention Gundam one more time and throw in some Three Kingdoms stuff, and I'll be really happy. I think you mean Gun Bam. Mobile Jacket Gun Bam. <laughs> ha! It works every time! <laughs> See, Phoenix Wright is realistic, and this is how courtrooms work. What am I doing here? Your Majesty? <laughs> time machine He's They're saying time machine, not time travel, though. Well, he's about to present his evidence. It's probably going to be a paper. And then he's going to hit the table, and it'll make a noise like. <laughs> And then it'll be a close up, and there'll be those blue lines <laughs> flying by in the, in the background. Everything in life is connected. o k a r i n Mucha s h i a g a t e An ATF staffer entered the room, ready to kick me out, which. Which I knew instinctively. In this game, so far, I've been in two lectures and kicked out of both of them. That's pretty good, come to think of it. And now a satellite's going to crash into this building and everything's going to reset. But Kurisu stopped him. Perhaps I got too carried away. But the public speaking. <laughs> Thanks to her proposal, the event staff refrained from escorting me out. She sounds a little pissed, but、uh, let's not mind that.、Uh, who cares? This will probably be way less boring than any of the other attendees were expecting, so that's pretty good, right? Yeah, you should at least do her the courtesy of that. Come on. Are they going to go through all of them? I bet we're going to be looking through 11 tips now. Excellent! Incidentally, although I'm not like really familiar with this stuff, I'm pretty sure it's complete bollocks. Doesn't make for good fiction, though. Hmm, what are the major theories of time travel? Actually, I guess I probably could talk about a couple of them. <laughs> I have heard about the cosmic string theory, at least. Does string theory connect to time travel? I don't know. Oh! Two says, say, Lidon. Right. I'm not really that familiar with the first one, but as I understand it, it's not that different from the second one. Right. And light speed theory, at least as far as I know, is pretty well understood. Yeah, the, the closest you get to the speed of light, like your position in time changes, something like that?、Uh, it has to do with like the equations of, of,、uh, of what the speed of light is, and it's like. Time, like the relative passage of time, changes as you approach light speed. But kind of like how if you're, if you're told to cross a certain distance, like let's say a distance of one meter,、uh -huh. if you're told to cross half of that distance over and over and over and over and over、ah. and over again, you'll continue having the remaining distance ad infinitum that will I, never stop. However, practically speaking, you. You just cut it in half until it's really small, and then you just go. So that's sort of showing the difference between practicality and theory.、Gotcha. And so that's what this is is it's like at some point, the, like when you hit light speed itself, according to the equations anyway, time should not actually be passing.、Mm. And then it's something about going on the other end of that. I'm probably totally full of crap, but I'm not a scientist, and actually it's miraculous that I can talk about any of this as well as I can, especially Gundam physics, but I won't go into that. Tachyon Lidon, Wormhole Lidon, Ekizo Chikubus Lidon. 
Uh -huh. Oh, I'm well. Uh, tachyon. Well, tachyon is supposedly a unit of time, energy or some such. Time energy? No, uh, no, no. I think that's from a Super Robot Wars that nobody played on the Game Boy Advance. The, the tachyon theory of time travel is what you get in Star Trek: The Next Generation, and uh, wormholes is, are pretty well understood. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of the exotic matter theory. Huh. Haven't heard of 8 and 9, and I just don't know how... Se I'm not really familiar with 7, so I don't know how it's related to time travel. You got me. I assume quantum gravity theory can't be that distinct from, like, number 1 and 2. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't really say anything about most of these. I'm not a scientist either, man. <laughs> uh, not bad. Perhaps Makise Kurisu is a worthy rival after all. But does she have the phone wave? Name, Name. subject to change. <laughs> yeah. Nemo. They can't all be true. Yeah. All, it's all just conjecture anyway. The Steins Gate Theory! Or the Phone Wave Name Subject to Change Theory. That's too long. I like how after actually challenging her ability to be a public speaker, she has demonstrated that she sort of doesn't actually have any, and I feel better about that. <laughs> Bully? Man, that's a really good point. Yeah! If someone comes up with the 12th theory, why can't someone come up with the 13th theory? Gah! A cursed girl! I didn't expect that she'd twist my question and use it against me. All of a sudden, I can feel everyone's eyes on me. It's risky to be too much more conspicuous than I already am, <laughs> so I probably shouldn't get too carried away. Refers to both Einstein's special theory of relativity, published in 1905, and his general theory of relativity, published in 1916, represented by the famous equation E equals mc squared. The special theory of relativity is defined by the following axiom. We equals mc squared. We does equal mc squared. Thank you. Objects cannot travel faster than the speed of light. As velocity approaches the speed of light, the passage of time approaches zero. I like how I was just saying this stuff. As velocity approaches the speed of light, Length approaches zero. As velocity approaches the speed of light, yeah, yeah. mass approaches infinity! The general theory of relativity adds the following axioms. In the presence of large gravitational fields, the passage of time slows down. In the presence of large gravitational fields, space curves. In the presence of large gravitational fields, mass increases. Uh, one thing to consider when it comes to this, because, I mean, I'm not really qualified to talk about any of it, which is why I'm talking about it. Uh, <laughs> when has that ever stopped us? Time, the passage of time is, like, weirdly relative. I'm not familiar to the full extent of how far it goes, but if you get out of the gravitational pull of the Earth with, like, a clock, like one of those perfect clocks that, uh, that like isn't atomic going radios. to... It's like it's not ever going to, to vary or change and just do something like that and then come back inside the, the gravitational, like, like the Earth's atmosphere. Uh -huh. The amount of time that's passed is different. It's not the same. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So it's like the way, so I mean, it is verifiable that the way people experience time isn't fixed or, it, or, or entirely uh, finite may not be the right term. But in any case. Tatoeba. Time zones, man. What does that mean? 
移動する速さが高速に近づけば近づくほど時間は遅く流れるそれが相対性理論ですから極論を言えば光と同じほどの速さで走ることができたら流れる時間はその人だけ半分になるわけで24時間その速度で走り続ければ周囲では48時間が経ったことになるから丸1日分未来へ飛んだことになるんですよ。はあ。今日もさん。<笑> well, consider in, in a lot of science fiction, if,、uh, that, that's why wormholes in science fiction are typically used to, to handle like, long distance interstellar travel. Because otherwise, you have to deal with the special theory of relativity when it comes to approaching light speed. I mean, you can just write it off altogether,、mm -hmm. but the idea is that somebody, somebody actually u、like、repeatedly using light speed travel, the world, more time is going to pass everywhere else in the world where light speed travel or that's not currently engaged in it. Right. Like 40 years, if you're going like into deep space at light speed, 40 years could pass on Earth. But not for you. But. Six months pass for you, so then you look back at Earth and your child is older than you. Ah, ah gotcha. that actually happened in Alien. Did it in Aliens? Yeah, ah,、huh. <coughs> why are you singling me out? Maybe it's because I jumped up and did a dramatic pose and objected. Well, you use taunt, so she has to focus all her attacks on you. It's super effective. <laughs> I don't see how it doesn't do damage. では過去にはいけるのかな過去にだって今すぐ行けますよ。夜になったら望遠鏡で空を覗いてみてください。何万年も前の光を見ることができるでしょはあ、huh? I mean, yeah, it takes a while for all that, all those, all that light to reach us. I mean, how many stars in the night sky have already burned out? まあ。今までのは前置き例えば実際に皆さんが体ごと過去や未来へ行くことができるようなタイムマシンを作るにはまず何が必要か考えてみましょう。It should be a blue phone box. 代表的なところだと宇宙ひも理論かワームホール理論かな。There, I made a Doctor Who reference. Are you happy? 宇宙ひもというのは超巨大な質量を持つ紐みたいな形のひび割れです指の幅は素粒子と同じぐらいで。長さは最低でも銀河系と同じくらいと思っていただければいいです。Good Lord! Elementary particle, the smallest unit of matter. However, the definition of what constitutes an elementary particle is unclear. Certain elementary particles have a corresponding antiparticle with opposite charge. I'm getting way too into these. This reminds me of those info dumps that you would get in Uchi Koshi games like the Zero Escapes or Ever 17. <laughs>、uh -huh. Where he just starts talking, like he'll present some absolutely preposterous idea, but more or less make it plausible.、Mm -hmm. I'm not expressing some opinion on the veracity or lack thereof on string theory. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that, in all likelihood, for the purposes of this game, it's going to be true. I would, I would imagine so, yes. Just like how tachyon theory is extremely effective in Star Trek. これは巨大な質量であるがゆえに時空を歪める性質を持っているんですその歪んだ時空を紐を中心にあなたがぐるっと一周すると360度以内で回り切ることができる要するにワープみたいなことができるということこれ時空の角度欠損って言います。うん、
通過時間はゼロになる。Instantaneous transport。これを応用して、宇宙紐が高速に近い速さで運動しているとき。Can I just say I like how I just now noticed she's been writing this stuff on the blackboard? I'll tell you what's ridiculous. The eleven theories are one thing,、uh, but are you telling me she drew out a well distorted <laughs> grid? Come on. Her talents are many. So, I say, Lilo, and Yuri, the two Himono Jikan was Shui Yuri Osoknar Kara, Yuganda, Kakodo Keston, the Ryoki, or Tuka Sulto, Honda, Zero, that the Tuka Jikan, minus Nina. Somebody, Tuka Gono Hoga. ハコになっているわけ。うん。で、日本の宇宙紐を使って空間欠損ジャンプを行い、元の地点まで周回するように戻ってくると、ちょうど周回を開始したのと同じ時間に戻ってくることができる。ざっくり言っちゃうと、それ
uh, there's there's some episodes from this past like seven or eight months. Uh, Gary Greenberg on the placebo effect. Oh, placebo. That sounds familiar. And Julia Belouz on epidemiology, nutrition, and metabolism. Okay? These are really, really, really interesting. They, they talk about a lot of aspects of what goes on inside the human body that, frankly, we have gotten so wrong and we have so little comprehension of that it just makes me wonder about like how like why is the human body harder to understand than theoretical physics <laughs> or is it that theoretical physics is something that seems more interesting because people seem to think a lot of issues about what goes on inside the body are already settled and we already know them so nobody bothers like i'm not really sure but that that's just something that's always made me go, you know, we don't really know as much as we claim to know. For all we know, three to seven of these 11 theories of time travel are all correct. Yeah. Okay? I don't know. I, we just don't know very much. It's just interesting to think about. Econtot.org. Seriously, it's really interesting. So, <laughs> When you hit 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. 1.21 gigawatts originates from a 1980s trilogy of Hollywood movies about time machines and time paradoxes. In the first movie, Back to the Future, the inventor of the time machine said that it needed 1.21 gigawatts of power to travel through time. In reality, the unit gigawatt does not exist. The scriptwriter made a spelling mistake. The correct unit is gigawatt. I had always wondered if it was just Christopher Lloyd mispronouncing gigawatt, but I suppose it was gigawatt that was written. <laughs> ah, to clarify the point I was attempting to make, because I just don't think it's come out right, People believe that it's okay if theoretical physics isn't entirely accurate, but also believe that we absolutely know how to lose weight. Because we don't know how to lose weight. What I'm saying is we need to be more skeptical about the things that we supposedly think we know. Than the things that we are not sure we know? Yeah, like oh. really we're, we're actually, we actually don't know Jack about anything more or less at all. Yeah. Rather than trying to find ways to make theoretical physics work, I'm just saying I would like some more skepticism. But I'm sure the skepticism exists in the theoretical physics scene, okay? Like, that's cool. <laughs> if you think that we know how weight loss works, you're straight up wrong. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> if the research, actual long-term, randomized, controlled research studies on topics like the relationship between the proper ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids or the bioavailability of micronutrients is so flimsy because it is flimsy. They don't actually exist. <laughs> People just seem to think they, they exist. Or how we'll look at things and think that beta carotene can be used as vitamin A or that ascorbic acid can be absorbed by the body as vitamin C. Then wouldn't the evidence for... A lot of things like theoretical physics or things or topics in quantum physics also be shaky. Why is it okay for one of them to be shaky, but the other one can't be shaky? And why is it that people seem to have accepted that quantum physics is the one that can't be shaky? I... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. Good, I need to do my laundry. Why do we keep our soap in a box anyway? Let me talk about the bioavailability of laundry! So no stop. Or mayhaps a satellite? Well, if cosmic strings are really only present around the formation of the universe, then we'd have to go to the center of the god dang universe in the spaceship, which is going to require some time travel itself for the time traveler to survive the trip of like however many billions of years it's going to take for him to have gotten there. No, it's like two blocks away. <laughs> the center of the universe. Yeah, you can't. 
Like, that's even possible. We're just talking about theoretical stuff. And Damon, if you say one more thing about bioavailability, I'm gonna beat you to death. And why the hell is she addressing me? You know why! ホーイさんは宇宙紐理論にも挑戦したくないようですね。だったらもう一つ例に挙げたワームホール理論はどうです？こちらは宇宙紐理論よりはもうちょっと現実的かもしれません。ところでホーイ。I Good job, Billy. Hey. Hey. Since I've been challenged, though, I can't leave the question unanswered. Yes. That's kind of right, yeah. Yeah, so this. Fatsu トンネルは通過時間ゼロで通り抜けられる。2つの穴がどれだけ離れていてもね。だけどここで残念なお知らせ。ワームホールのトンネルは超重力がかかっていて開通すると同時に潰れちゃいます。in Space Runaway Ideon, yes, yes, a super robot anime that is extremely well-known and extremely influential in the anime industry itself. Like Urobuchi Gen, anybody ever heard of him? He, sa he still says that Ideon is his favorite work. Ideon's really good, I can, can confirm. Ideon is something you experience, not necessarily <laughs> like. In Ideon, they, they use the, the wormhole tunnels for uh, long-range space travel the engine that's used to open a wormhole is called the Death Drive, and the tunnel itself is called Death Space. Because if you mess one little thing up, the yep. supergravity annihilates everything instantly. Oh, I see. So that's how it worked. Dilithium crystals! <laughs> Negative mass, huh? I like how this game is actually doing this. It's getting these things in the thoughts of the person watching it. Just like with Uchikoshi info dumps. Once you've gotten it, they're so fascinating that you try to apply it to everything else you see in the game. That's how visual novels work. They're really good at this. But it, it even though it may not be correct, but it, it's like it, even if you may draw the wrong conclusions, it's like it gets your mind spinning about a concept. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really, it makes it really fun. I love it. Is that something that floats if you leave it on the ground? I guess technically. Man, maybe not. I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like. Gel banner. <laughs> Gel banners scare me. More than alpaca man? No. ここを通るためには手の中に私が握ろうとする力に反発する何かを作ってむぎゅっとできなくしないとダメということですね。うぎゅっと。This <laughs> is really funny. It takes a little more effort, but you know, all you've really got to do to make sure that you can pass through is come up with the existence of some theoretic piece of matter that has negative mass and negative energy. Piece of freaking cake! <laughs> Having said that, it's not like the periodic table of elements wasn't entirely theoretical. Most of the elements, before we got to like the synthetic stuff, mm -hmm. most of the elements and their properties, like their presumed properties, were predicted and their place in the table uh, placed 
before we discovered many of them, we oh. went looking for them because theoretically they should exist according to the rules that we knew at the time. And, and they did. That's pretty that's pretty interesting. Isn't okay. It? So it's like I'm I'm mocking this stuff like exotic matter, but we have used this type of logic in the 20th century to correctly and accurately predict the existence of things. So I just want to very complicated feelings on the subject. I just want to dial back my mockery is all. まず、LA Oh, yeah. Like a slinky. Piece of cake, though. I mean, you know exactly how to make sure that your... that your wormhole that you are going to be opening targets the end of the universe, right? I suppose you would know how to do that if you know how to open one in the first place. Presumably, yes. Uh... How? Soutai ああ。オッケー。はあ。数年前のエルエンに行けるでしょう。でもこの時点ではまだタイムトラベルをしたことにはなりません。疑似的なタイムトラベルです。いわゆる浦島効果ね。Yes。浦島、はい。Like浦島太郎。And Imagine that an astronaut travels to a nearby star and back at close to the speed of light. This trip might take a few years from the astronaut's perspective, but he would return to Earth to find that thousands of years had passed in his absence. So, like you were saying earlier. I guess I somehow know more than I think I do, but I really don't know Jack. Well, I swear... He's perused a lot of sci-fi, and a lot of sci-fi draws from stuff like this. I've I've read a lot of stuff. Uh, The older I get... The more I'm able to blather on endlessly about all manner of things, and the more I sincerely believe I know nothing. <laughs> nothing whatsoever. ジュイオナノはこの後、LA But they're still really hard to get. Well, you don't have to go to the the origin of the universe. Fair point. Anyway, while we were blathering, that must have been when she was drawing the grid inside the wormholes. (laughs) So, one, wormhole, so no more. The existence is entirely theoretical. I mean, it depends on whether or not space folds. There's, as I understand it, there's plenty of evidence that says it does. I'm sure there's things that say that that they don't. Maybe there's not. But the thing is, if space doesn't fold in the way that people... Theor- theorize, theorize that it could fold, there cannot be a wormhole. I've heard a theory that, like, since the Big Bang, the universe has been gradually and continuously expanding, but there's a theory that it'll eventually, all that momentum will stop, and it'll start to slowly mm-hmm. contract in on itself, which is where this folding could potentially happen. Mm, oh, is that it? Yeah. Which means it's really, really far away. <laughs> yeah, because that means that, that the universe has, as far as we're aware, not started contracting yet. But then again... How can we know? We do have a limit as to how far our telescopes can see. What I mean is we can only see as far as not only the physical technology of the telescope allows, mm-hmm. but also we can only see as far as ex- as time has passed in the existence of the universe for light to have traveled to for us to see. Yes. 
But I there, understood that. But there are things outside of that, we think. Yes. Wormhole End of the universe and back at near light speed, peace cake! The flake shot, pachoo! Sono san, exotic bushes. Chinamini kore, jitsai wa kakunin sarete masen. Like dark matter and dark energy, they're just. Theoretical concepts. Like a placeholder that would sort of explain the reason why something happens. But again, we've been totally right on these before. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that we're not wrong, but you gotta keep in mind. We used to believe that space contained luminiferous ether, <laughs> which, which would account for like, it accounted the, the existence of the luminiferous ether, which was like a, like a not goopy, but sort of viscous mass that, that, is, that is what we thought was in what we now know as the vacuum of space uh, is what accounted for like the contraction of light and things that we now understand are due to like Einsteinian gravity and and it's like it Oh god, don't get it started on gravity. It's like I don't really know quite what I'm talking about, but they were like, well it has to exist and everyone thought like the the entire scientific community assumed that that all of this existed. Now, if you want to laugh and say, ha, 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 ha but that was like 120 years ago. Ha 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 ha. ha when people thought that luminiferous ether was out there. Like, Einstein was one of the people who was trying to get, like, make people stop. Trying to debunk it? Yes. But if you want to say 120 years ago, that's because everyone was dumb and there were no scientists. Keep in mind that we thought we had luminiferous ether out there. We just found out that Einstein was publishing at the same time. And freaking Uranus, the planet Uranus was predicted to exist and discovered in 1781. Wow, I didn't know that. As other planets hundreds of years before that. We were able to see that far and make mathematical calculations that precise as to predict the existence of and location of planets and see them before we ever even understood what, a, what bacteria were, or that there wasn't luminiferous ether in space, or a lot of these issues about how our own body works, or what's at the bottom of the ocean. It's really complicated, it's really interesting, and I just think it's fascinating that we've always known more about what's out there than what's in here. So implementation of either one would require a ridiculous and frankly impossible amount of effort. I like how Daru is looking at him like he's thinking something outlandish, isn't he? And incorporating them into a time machine is even more untenable. From a practical point of view, she's saying since we can't actually ever test any of these theories, the only thing we can do is think about them and maybe they're real. They're fun to consider and make stories about. Isn't that kind of like an Ouroboros loop, though? Like the snake eating its own tail, like the never-ending loop circle? Yeah, you're right. Because, because you can't, it isn't. Because you can't, it isn't. You can never escape the, the loop. Like a time loop! But if you focus on that, because you can't, it doesn't, too much, then you'll never think of anything new? Yeah. That's true! Science advances really crazily. My god, I'm exhausted. <laughs> All this braining. それに仮にもっと簡単に過去へ行ける方法が発見されたとしても実際に行けるとは限らない。因果律に関する根本的な問題が解決されていませんから。Okay. Principle of causality. My god. A scientific and philosophical principle that states that every event has a cause, and it is by that cause that an effect is produced. The theory of relativity is founded upon this principle. However, 
Quantum physicists have observed micro-scale phenomena that do not appear to obey the principle of causality. Specifically referring to, like, elementary particles, as far as I know. Like, electrons are one of the biggest culprits, but the fact is, is even going down into quarks as much as we understand about them, that's when causality appears to be bizarre. Like, like some aspect of electrons only move if they're observed? Yes, yes. The behavior of certain subatomic particles changes when it's observed. Earlier when I mentioned the econ talk stuff on health was about the placebo effect, that will blow your mind. <laughs> like Billy said, the behavior of subatomic particles changes, or certain subatomic particles changes on whether or not it's being observed. Schrodinger's cat, anyone? Essentially speaking... Um, there's a lot of evidence that indicates that the placebo effect has not only been growing stronger over these past 20 or 30 years, but that it actually surpasses the effect of drugs and that its effects don't diminish even if you know uh -huh. that it's a placebo. Oh, it's crazy. We have had doctors for thousands of years if they were such quacks that every time you went to the doctor in 400 BC, you died because they didn't understand <laughs> concepts like sanitation, then the idea of a doctor wouldn't have, have lasted this long. Yeah, it wouldn't have lasted this long in every culture and civilization that's ever existed. But it has. What were those doctors doing? I mean, leeches? Why didn't it always fail? Leeches were prescribed as a treatment for anemia. Or headaches. Why didn't all the patients die? We just don't know anything! And it's fascinating! Yeah! Time paradox. The mass of the entire universe is supposedly constant. If a time machine traveled from the future to the past, there would suddenly be the extra mass of the time machine and its pilot in the past. I remember reading in a book, not a terribly reputable book, but still, what are we talking about here? That such a violation of mass conservation would put the universe itself in danger. Mass and energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only changed. Is that true, though? Well, that's what the theory of conservation of... That's what the conservation theory is. Theory! It's a theory! But as we change from, from an understanding of Newtonian gravity to an Einsteinian gravity to quantum gravity, these constants that we thought we understood kept changing, mm -hmm. so why do we assume that now... Anyway, it's all theoretical! It didn't say what kind of danger, though. It's just been implied that paradoxes will destroy the universe. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Oh? What? Is that true? Well, I mean, I think I've heard something like this. <laughs> well, she, she's laughing at my reaction. That little... How oh, mortifying! <laughs> Really? That's why I was always suspicious of the thing. Huh. That makes sense. Deva, nani ga mondai to naru no kane? Time paradox wa time paradox demo oyagoroshi no paradox no hou desu. Becoming travel back in time and marry your grandmother, you then then become your own grandfather. And you are in an inescapable loop. Oh, that thing where you kill your own ancestors before you were born? Or that thing. It's all the same idea. Ah, I see. I must now go back in time and kill my grandfather to test this theory. But if it works and I get erased from time, how did I go back in time to kill my grandfather to test this theory? Wait. For again, for anybody out there who hasn't played the Zero Escape <laughs> games, you know, the first one has you trapped in a cellar, but then it starts talking about stuff like this. Go play it if you're interested. Seriously. 
殺さなければいいんじゃないのそんな単純な問題じゃありません SF 映画と同じように考えるのはとても危険ですあなたが消えるだけじゃ済まされない I mean, you could disrupt the entire flow of history. It's why you can't go back in time and kill Hitler. Or could you? Could you really, though? You see, that old, that's, that's in one theory. Like a, like a single continuous world line sort of thing. Alternately, it could be that every time there's something different, it generates a new、I、parallel could, dimension.、Yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah, multi multiverse theory. Yeah, so if you ever go back in time, you have not gone back into the same time that you came from. And if you ever go back to the same place that you. That you left from, like the same time that you left from,、uh -huh. you aren't in the same universe then either. You, like that, that whole exchange that I just said, that was four different universes. I or, see. Or parallel, yeah, parallel, parallel dimensions.、Worlds. Really? Doesn't seem that dangerous. Maybe. Supposedly? Maybe. パラドックスは理論上の思考実験に過ぎない。Right. 現実に起きることはないし、起きてはいけないことなんです。And they should not. That is a good point. You see, theoretically, that could be true. You know what? You want to know a great way to not destroy the universe? Don't try it. Don't attempt to destroy the universe. Please don't. I don't want someone to succeed. Large Hadron Collider? Alternately, If multiverse theory is true, which isn't if, if multiverse theory is true, then shouldn't the universe have already been destroyed? Ha aren't we actually already in the process of the ultimate destruction of the entire multiverse? I suppose eventually, yeah, eventually, all universes would come to an end. Eventually, you'll find a universe where someone has been able to generate a paradox, and, and, the, and that paradox will be destroyed. Wiped out in that universe. Or all the universes. Yeah, it could be just we haven't caught up with it yet. Ah, my brain! But to continue the faffing about, wouldn't there also be a 100% chance that eventually you would find some universe where someone is solving these paradoxes or preventing these sorts of time travel y paradoxes that occur? Eventually, since we're dealing with infinity, the,、uh, the chances. Yeah. Everything approach 100 or are 100%. There's a 100% chance of every possibility happening. Because there's an infinite amount of chances for them to happen, so they will happen eventually. God,、right? I wouldn't want to be that guy. Then, of course, we got his work cut out for him. I mean, all that's a load of hooey, but all this is a load of hooey. <laughs> And for that matter, Makise Kurisu is saying all this is a load of hooey. That's <laughs> right. たとえ 0.0001% でも起きる可能性のあるどんな行動も絶対に実行には移せないそう考える方が自然じゃないですか多世界解釈や自己無矛盾の原理っていう抜け道もありますが個人的にはファンタジーすぎると思うので認めたくないですね<笑> oh, yeah? worlds, huh? There's not as much evidence for the multiverse theory as people think That doesn't mean there's none, and there's certainly, it's certainly a valid theory, and it doesn't even mean that, I'm, that I am disbelieving it or believing it or whatever, okay? No, I just like that she said it after we talked about it. Yeah, I know, but there's, it's, it, there's not as much evidence as people think. I am not familiar with the self consistency principle. Man, the one time we want a tip. <laughs> Okarin defeated. <sighs> I grind my teeth. I mean, look, germ theory? Germ theory. The idea that bacteria causes disease in organisms、uh -huh. is still a theory. We can't prove it or it wouldn't be germ theory.、It'd、really? Be, we can prove gravity. That's the law of gravity. I didn't, know we, germ was, I didn't know germ was a theory. We haven't been able to prove it all the way. I see. So, how can we prove anything else? Hmm. I didn't know that. Looks like I have no choice but to concede. Makise Kurisu truly is a genius. That's why she had to die. 
I ended up listening to all of Kurisu's lecture at ATF. After the two time travel theories she introduced at the beginning, she explained the rest with equal eloquence. But neither of those are important, so we didn't show it. <laughs> Thank God, I, I didn't really have any more left in the tank, <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> like, that was literally the extent of all the knowledge I have about most everything, and for that matter, it is almost 100% true that 90% of what I said was all a load of bollocks because I don't understand any of this stuff fully. Or as full as I could. Yeah, yeah. But I think I know enough to discuss them! It was fun, wasn't it? I hope so. Me too. Well, for all of you that didn't enjoy all of that, what's the likelihood that that'll ever happen again? Like, seriously. <laughs> She seemed a little nervous at first, but that quickly changed as she spoke. By the end, it was an impressive lecture. So impressive that you wouldn't think it was an 18-year-old's first time. She just had to get warmed up. Yep. And no better way to warm up than with the combative. <laughs> she did well to respond to my malicious questions with sarcasm. She's got guts. She totally used me <laughs> to springboard her to success. <laughs> oh, why am I praising her? I'm so embarrassed, but probably not nearly as, as embarrassed as Daru. Daru disapproves. Leaving that aside... I saw Makise Kurisu dead. And yet she is alive. Schrodinger's Makise! Is it? Well, the way the Schrodinger's cat theory that I tossed out earlier works is you put a cat in a box. Is the cat alive or dead? You won't know for sure until you look in the box and confirm it. But if we the have, cat dies... But she's right here. We have, in fact, observed her. It's, it's rather like we took both possibilities of, of Schrodinger's cat, or Schrodinger, I think is actually how you say it, and put both results in two transparent boxes. That but, exist at the same time? But there can only be one result. And and so Okarin is like, what is this? Because he has observed the death and observed the life and can't reconcile that they're both, that they simultaneously are because they can't. That's what I meant to say. Thank you, Damon. <laughs> My memories don't mesh with reality mine or the one that everyone else perceives <laughs> and not just my memories of kuris but also my conversations with mayuri daru too everything that happens in this reality stands in stark opposition to the world i remember Everything would be solved if I just told myself that what I saw was a dream, an illusion. It never happened. Uh, uh, oh, Kareen, are, are you done? Like, are you done? Can we go home? Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of waiting on you, man. As he walks off, <laughs> tired of waiting. 30%. By the time I had snapped out of my internal <laughs> monologue, Daru had wandered off. Uh, so be it. If he wants to ignore me, to be fair, I've been ignoring him. That's true. I need to focus on finding a way to discover the true cause of my contradicting memories anyway. And it is possible that in so doing, I have doomed the entire universe to destruction via creating a paradox. Whoops. Sorry about that. This leaves me with no choice. 531. I arrive at Yanabayashi Shrine. Gesundheit. Actually, you wouldn't say Gesundheit. In Japanese, when somebody sneezes, you say... And everyone just kind of like awkwardly ignores the sneeze. Ha! Huh. Also, the sneeze is Hashu. It might be Hachu, but I think it's Hashu. Which is the onomatopoeia of the noise. That's really funny. I need to get exercise, and I don't mean CrossFit style. <laughs> I seriously doubt that the Makise Kurisu at ATF was a ghost. 
but it's important to cover all your bases. I'm sure her grudge is going to haunt me, but that's for other reasons. <laughs> Regardless, it's natural to seek an exorcism after such an experience. I'm Japanese. It's in our blood. Yanabayashi Shrine is located on the other side of Kanda River. To find it, enter the first side road after crossing Mount Seibashi Bridge. It's a very small shrine that doesn't fit with the surrounding multi-tenant buildings. But that's kind of what Japan is like. Yeah. Kyoto was so interesting. It's like you see high rises and like super urban stuff. You walk 30 feet and you're in a forest. <laughs> Kanda Myojin is the more famous shrine in Akiba, but I deliberately chose this one. <laughs> you know, normally those types of characters get on my nerves, Me but too. so far she hasn't. I agree. I completely agree 100% with that sentiment. There are two girls standing in front of the main building. One is Mayuri, and the other is a docile-looking beauty wearing traditional Miko attire. And here we have someone who exists in another world, the spiritual world. Huh. I'm just say I haven't quite figured out Makise. The science world? The theoretical world? The theoretical, maybe. The theoretical world? Because Okarin doesn't really act like much of a scientist. Miko, shrine maidens, priestesses, in the Shinto religion. Miko typically dressed in a white kimono with the red hakama, or skirt. Their role is to assist priests when performing rituals and events. Little skull hairpin. Huh. What does that mean? <laughs> it's like a cute, happy skull. Don't worry, Dad. I'll look after you. Yeah, yeah. Urushibara Luka. What the hell kind of name is Urushibara Luka? I'm calling her Luka. Or Ururu, I guess. The chief priest's son. Lovely in every way. But he's a guy. Oh. Um. We met when I rescued him from some aggressive photographers in Akiba's pedestrian heaven. Aggressive photographers, eh? Pedestrian heaven. Some neighborhoods of Tokyo, such as Akihabara, close major streets on busy shopping days. This effectively turns the street into one big sidewalk, facilitating pedestrian access. Uh, I hope this doesn't go on very long, because we really need to find a good spot to stop, but... It's the introduction of a character. I guess we have to go just a little bit further. It also so happens that Lukako and Mayuri are classmates. Lukako? <laughs> okay. Well, you know... Mayushi just gives nicknames to everybody. Why is it Luca? Why not Duca? I can find out. Eh. I learned that fact after I had gotten to know it. Yotosamidariwachontotskatiirunoka. <laughs> Seishinzama? <laughs> what? Like, cutting through evil? Like, with with the power of your spirit? Is that Seishinzama? Ah, you would know that better than I would. Like, like mind and heart? Cutting demon or evil? Why are you taking anything I tell you seriously? <laughs> demon sword Samidare what? may be an imitation sword, but that is only the form it takes to hide from the world. When one worthy to wield it appears, it unleashes its true power! <laughs> <laughs> and he got his voice got so deep. It's not that either. Look at all those bananas. Yeah, I just noticed that. Good lord, woman. Sorry, 
では合言葉をあえっ、ー、とエルフサイコンガリウエルサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウエルフサイコンガリウこれでいいですかルカコスマイルズハプリーエザイナーデありがとうございます美しい師弟関係だね<笑>マユシーは不女子じゃないけどちょっとドキドキしてきちゃうよ Well have fun with this one Billy Oh no, Fujo! Oh no! A term for female otaku with a particular interest in yaoi. More works of fiction that depict homosexual relationships between men. Does not apply to female otaku in general. Eh? Ma Mayuri ちゃん変な想像しないで Boy, this has been a weird episode, huh? <laughs> Though we do have a master disciple relationship. For some reason. So, what is that? Why is Mayuri here? Lukaku, you're coming to me. If Luka is just completely going along with Okarin's pace, uh -huh. then why isn't he part of the future gadget lab?、Uh, he's got priest duties? のコミまでライネットのキラリちゃんこそしてほしいってずっと頼んでるのにちっともオッケーしてくれないんだよ。キキラリちゃん、フィクショナル、The Heroine of Ryanet Kakeru。Her full name is Nishimura Kirari。She is a smart and athletic girl in fifth grade。She is also cute and has a good personality。Basically the perfect girl。Passionate about fashion。Hates mushrooms. Kamima. Fictional. Comic Giga Market. A massive otaku event held twice a year at Tokyo Big Sight! Every Kamima, thousands of artists gather to sell their creations, which range from erotic manga based on popular anime to original figures, music, and games. The next Kamima will be held on August 15th. Set your schedules. 18 days away. Well, time and space may be infinite, but our episodes aren't. My brain is mush! We'll continue the introduction of Lukaku next time. Awkward or not, all things must eventually come to an end.